Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to part 42 of Let's Play The Surging Storm on the Realm of Thrones mod, where we are currently in Dornish territory, as we've just took the Tor, Dronwood, and Wile, after our uh, Lys Aaron also took over um, Horn Hill. Finally, someone didn't want to give me something. Good. Oh. We do need to give away King's Grave, though, because we don't want that either. But yeah, as, we're, as we've uh, decided, we're going to take out the entirety of the Dornish lands in Dorn itself. So we're going to take out Vaith, Planky Town, and of course, Sunspear and Ghost Hill. Once we do that, uh, we'll then be able to go take out uh, the Starfall region and then eventually go deal with them in the last area. And the reason we're doing this is because I think this is going to be the biggest hit to them. Like, I think in the long term, this is actually going to prove to be the best. Uh, they also build pretty quickly here, so we need to be careful. You have one more army coming to join us. They are seven hours away. They're right there as well. They're not far. They're not that fast. So this should be. Yeah, this should be enough troops to hopefully deal with the rest of um, uh, Dawn itself. You know, the actual Dornish lands that we're currently in. Worst case scenario, we'll have to kick people out of our party, and we'll um, like we did, and we'll grab some more. Hopefully, the people we kicked out have got. Uh, a decent amount of troops already so they'll be able to come back to our party when necessary but uh, obviously we'll wait and see there's gonna be a lot of uh, damage being thrown around right here up to 151 awesome uh siege engine oh yeah this one doesn't really matter because they're both governors aren't they so we'll just do that one yeah, no one else has leveled up that's fine all right that up. A vape should be a very simple town to take. Oh, okay, we did lose a thing there, but let's build a fire mongol uh, monganel instead. Or fire on a go, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, we'll replace with some fire on a go because this is an actual town, so we're going to need the extra firepower to actually make sure we uh, take out the enemy stuff. And by enemy stuff, I mean the actual enemies themselves. You know, let's be honest, they're going to be a little bit. Uh, a little bit frisky, but there we go. Let's get Vaith. So once we take Vaith, we'll be able to go and uh, take Planky Town, Sunspear, and obviously, as I said, Ghost Hill. Um, Over command. Obviously, the reason we want to take those, as I've said previously, purely because obviously it makes the most sense logically. Like we take over their strongest towns, we essentially leave them with Starfall, um, uh, not Ashford, uh, Old Town, and one other place of which i do not remember the name of but it is the one that's on the island just south of old town but yeah once we leave them with just those um we know where they are then they're not going to come from numerous area di uh, directions uh, we also have got them in prison so we should also be able to keep people in prison you know completely now as long as we keep them in our party basically as long as we don't ever lose a fight we're golden Lose a fight, well, everyone just gets released, which is obviously, unless they are obviously enemies of other people, we should be okay there. If we get knocked out in this fight, though, I will actually be, um, what's it called? I will be ending, uh, not ending the siege. Oh, God. I'm just gonna chill for a minute because uh, I think I chose the wrong direction to go in. I don't think, yeah, I'm about to get knocked out. So we're gonna end the battle and we're gonna just chill again. Continue siege preparations. Uh, we'll wait until I get back up to full health. Not exactly what I wanted, but uh, yeah, we didn't want to. Uh, I didn't want to just speed this along when I knew I could just, you know, quickly come back out and have my uh, healing back up. Mighty blow gives me 38 healing, 38 health. Why the fuck does mighty blow give me 38 health? Where is mighty blow? Where the fuck is Mighty Blow? Oh, the, oh, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. All right, so I'm up to nearly 47%. Okay, we're just gonna need a little bit more. Yeah, they may run out of food before I'm at full health, which is a little annoying. It's not what I intended. But then again, I also didn't intend to get my ass hand to me. So that, you know, there, you know, things happen that we don't intend. Once we get to 100 health, 100% health, we'll go in again. 
Um, hopefully, like I said, people will be ready to join our army again as soon as we uh, are ready. And by ready, I mean as soon as we finish this siege. But, uh, you know, we'll have to wait and see. There's no real guarantee, as they say. I'm 100% health. Let's do this. Your sergeants. Right. Try this again and uh, not get ourselves killed this time, hopefully. And yeah, we'll keep our shield out for now. This is why I said I needed to make a shield. Sorry, make a sword. Like a normal one-handed sword. Because right now we're obviously running into the issue of we only have a spear for using with our shield. And it's not really the safest. what we do the Dornish have a really good system here like they have like a um, kill zone this city is going to be a pain in the ass and I'm going to assume uh, Sunspear and um, Banky Town are going to be the same we can only hope that they obviously won't but uh, yeah I, I think I definitely see, foresee some uh, annoying sieges in our future Yeah, we can worry about that later. We just need to, you know, get in and destroy these guys for now. If I can try and get to the... I might try and get to the uh, arch as quick as possible, but... The real problem is there is a bunch of, obviously, infantry that are not going to let us just get straight up there. Rightly so, obviously, but it's just annoying. Can't get close. Yeah, I think after we take over these three cities, we will go and make ourselves a new sword. Uh, specifically one-handed, obviously. In all fairness, it makes sense. We, we have got two pole arms. We don't need two pole arms. A one-handed, a two-handed, and a pole arm makes the most sense in terms of like, leveling, so we can level all types of weapons. Uh, Damon's leveled up, good. Come on. We are losing quite a few troops. We've lost uh, 45, I think. Yeah, no, 29, sorry. 45 is theirs. They're doing a really good job of blocking my sword for a change, which is... I can't say I'm appreciative, but we are breaking them as like quickly as we can, really. I wonder if the other flank is going a little bit more successfully. The, the kill feed does not seem to be in our favor right now, which is the problem, obviously. But that guy throwing weapon, uh, throwing shit close quarters right there. Oh, one of our, uh, a couple of our guys are at the back there. Let's see if, oh no, nope, we're we're screwed. Yeah, if we get knocked out this time, we will just let our men deal with this siege. I think the only problem is like uh, the best way for us to fight is to just keep swinging our massive sword. Yeah, there we go. I will right, we'll end the battle and we'll just send our troops in. It's just the it's just the best thing to do. We don't want to waste our time anymore. Another few troops lost. That's okay. To be fair, we've still got a decent amount of troops ourselves. Like you know, there's no real complaining here. Right. So is there anybody else who wants to join who is nearby? You can do, and then you too, and you, and you. Oh, did Liza Aaron's army disappear? Nope. Edmund Waxley's got an army. Good enough for me. But there we go. Now that we... Oh, okay. Ronwood is now under attack. So I think... Yeah. Ronwood is uh, something we need to go stop. If only because, you know, there are lords there. That'd be great. Uh, my son... Uh, focus on his uh, an interest in people, and we'll level up his. He should level up his pole arming skill. You know, get used, get good at riding a horse. 
They're probably going to take it before I get there, but... Oh, they didn't. Thank God. Okay, let's absolutely rinse these guys. Add them to On our prisons. Command. Riders! Soldiers! Troops! Troops! Hold! Arrow! Fire! Arch! Footmen! Tank! Arch! Sark! Cavalry! Jump! Troop! Kill them all! Right. Think that, uh... Okay, yeah, we'll just tell my men to charge so they don't try and charge anything specific. They just, you know, charge. But sometimes telling them to charge specific isn't actually the best thing to do. Like in a battle like this where we, you know, just greatly outnumber the enemy. It's in our best interest just to quickly get this battle over and done with. And if that means telling my men to just, you know have fun and kill whoever they want to kill, then screw it. That's what we'll do. Good thing is we've got a level up, which means we're going to be able to put up some put some skills up as well, which is, you know, very good. What skills we're going to put up, I don't know. Uh, I haven't actually looked at my skills in a little bit, so we'll have to uh, see. But, um, yeah, we'll probably put up uh, more than likely our uh, engineering if we need to, uh, or some other skills, but uh, we shall see. Now we're going to take a big wide berth of their infantry, try and let some of our cavalry get involved before we inevitably set them on fire. Beautiful. Okay, they've already had a second, uh, another set of reinforcements. Makes sense. I think this is nearly all their reinforcements. I don't think they're going to be due another. I think this is going to be everything. Already look like they're running away as well. You never know though, but it could be. Honestly, don't know. Never been the best at reading the enemy troops. But sometimes I think, oh, they're you know they're just reorganizing, and the next you know the end battle music plays. You just never be too sure. Yeah, this is also the end of them. Yeah, they're running away. I'm not going to waste my time fighting them again unless it makes me. Okay, one. Well, don't really care how many prisoners. Just get in my prison. Uh, actually, they want us to have some troops. None of them are... Un unfortunately, none of them are actually troops I would, uh, you know, be overly interested in. But hey, I appreciate the offer. We do have 28 prisoners. How many prisoners do we have in total now? If we have more than half the prisoners in our own prison. Okay. Uh, yeah, there is no leveling up these skills. Already done. Tactics or roguery. Oh, no, 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 no. Two-handed. Yes, 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 please. Even more hit points. Yes. Right. Uh, let's now go and take Planky Town. The next place that makes sense. Oh, we lost King's Grave. Well, that sucks. Uh, we will take over all these later. It's not a problem. We just, like I said, if we can get this little corner dealt with, they'll never come from this angle again, which means we're only really worried about over there. And obviously, that's good for us. Oh, Tom and Baratheon wants to join me. Oh, damn it. I was trying to help, but ah, fuck it, whatever. Mer oh, it's not a Merrin Trent. Osmond... What's his face? There we go. There's only 500 people here. Oh, and, oh some dickhead sieging faith. So we should actually go deal with that first. Because that'll be another set of people we can put immediately into our um, prison if they don't. Oh, they're not even going to waste their time coming over here now. Okay. Weird. 840 troops. That's. I uh, don't know how many lords that is, but. Let's have a look. So, five. Nine lords. Eh, not a bad deal. Put those lords in prison and, uh... Oh, it's one of the... It's this battle. Right, so what I'm going to do... Troops. On top of each other like a smart person would. Keep eye on the and enemy. then... Attack! Everyone charges. Face enemy. Something like that, uh, this battle should uh, go very quickly. Unfortunately for the uh, enemy here, they have not got themselves in a... This is like a very bad position for this type of fight. 
because the battlefield just isn't long enough to, you know, kind of extenuate, like, not extenuate, like, it, it isn't long enough to really kind of, like, you know, flank or anything that cavalry would really be the best for. It's essentially just cavalry charging up one another and, you know, smashing into each other. That's the best way to describe this fight. They're not going to have reinforcements. I thought they were 800 men. No, they were. They just, for some reason, they had, they went really low before they had reinforcements. Weird. I've never seen the enemy have to go so low. Normally it's like 100 troops and they get reinforced. Apparently the game was like, eh, we're not the happiest with Dawn. We're going to make them, you know, really earn it. You know, talk about nearly losing the battle to earn it. Alright, so all you guys gone? You guys don't need to be here. Like, I need to see Plank Count and Sunspear. You guys are just getting in the way. And obviously we can't rely on our own kingdom because, well, the swords are stupid. If the own lords in our kingdom didn't suck, we wouldn't have this problem, but... They just, they don't seem to do anywhere near as good on their own, you know? Right. Battle over. Awesome. 100 renown. How many of the nine did we get? 1, 2, are you, 3, enough, 4, enough. 5, are you, 6, we are, 7, get, 8, stop. 9. Good. Getting all of them is exactly what we want, because obviously we need them. The more of them we have in prison, the less chance any of these dipshits have of getting out. We now have 37 in prison, which is, well, let's be honest, that's really good. Really good. It means they're no longer going to get away or, you know, annoy me or generally exist, which is great. Uh, right, let's go deal with Planky Town. Uh, you're going to go take Kingsgrave. Liza Aaron is going to go travel to Red Cliff. Cool for her. Don't know what she's going to do, but, uh, you know, I believe in her. And they're attacking Ron Wood. Ever. Like I said, if we can take over here, that'll make our life a little bit easier. Because then we won't have these dipshits behind us, which is obviously the biggest uh, W for us. So, if they want to take Ronwood, then they can go for it. I'm more than okay with them having it, and I'm more than okay to, you know, just let them conquer it. I also didn't realize we, we, we went gone up to 1,700 troops. That's a nice amount of troops. All right. Smash this down. Okay, they are traveling to Ronwood to defend it. Whether or not they're actually going to get, you know, get there in time, that's honestly a completely different subject. And not one I would say I'm quite qualified to talk on. And they're attacking Vape as well. Little shits, aren't they? They really do love to just get in my way. Uh, yeah, we'll just charge straight away. Let's not make this any longer than it needs to be. Let's just get straight in, take these dipshits out, and move on. Come on! Uh, this type of city... Is this the same one? Don't know. I can never tell which layout this is. I don't know if this is the one we don't like or not, but... Yeah, it'll be right. We'll figure it out, as they say. Make sure we let some of our men go first so we don't uh, get ourselves shit on, essentially. There you go. Yeah, if we can catch ourselves at an angle like this, we're going to be much better off. Because we can just, you know, scar through them now. If they also, if they start noticing we're doing this, then we do obviously start having issues. So, you know, them not noticing is much better than them noticing. Alright, so once we take Plank Town, we'll obviously go get Vape back. Oh, shit. Well, that nearly killed me. Lovely. <laughs> 
My inability to just, like, put myself in horrible positions is, is amazing, honestly. Like, it, it should definitely be studied. I feel like I'm probably one of the worst Final World players in the entirety of the, uh, you know, of YouTube. All right, one bad shot, and I'm, like, one good, time, well-timed shot against me, and I'm, uh, I'm screwed. Kill the archers before they get a chance to be annoying. They're gonna shoot at me. No! Oh, if they shoot, damn it! Yeah, we'll just back out, let our men deal with it, and then we'll go take Vaith back. If they... By the time I get there, they probably shouldn't take it. You know, I'm not gonna hold my breath either way, but, uh, fingers crossed, eh? All right, so how many men did we put in Vaith? Probably a decent amount, I would say. Probably, hopefully, two, three hundred. Okay, Planky Town has been defended. Let's go get Vaith back. Ugh. The real question is, how the fuck are they still so goddamn strong? Like, we have 61 of their people in prison. Reckless Charge or Thick Hide? Thick Hide, give me that extra health. That puts me up to 158 health. This is a lovely amount of health. And there's now another 700 of them right here. How? Wait, where are you getting these fucking troops from, dickheads? Like, seriously, there's no way you should get this many troops. Just, just now. Okay, apparently... Riders! Support everyone! Hold charge! Make this quicker. Everyone just charge. It shouldn't take as long to take these guys out. I mean, they'll give them that. They're, uh, you know, they 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 got they push a little bit faster this time than they did last time. But still, they just don't have enough, you know. I do like how the music keeps cutting out as well because of obviously how much killing we're doing. The game's like just having a mental breakdown. All the, uh, you know, sounds. It's okay game, you don't have to have a mental breakdown because of the sound. It's okay. Oh shit, they were actually put their infantry in a really good position. Or at least they thought they did. Or at least I thought they did as well, but apparently no. It wasn't as good as I was expecting. Yeah, now the reason I'm killing so many troops as quickly as I can with the dragon is, like I said, I just want to get the, um... I just want to get the Dornish dealt with so we can start fighting somebody else. Like, we've, we've fought the Dornish for so long that I want to finish off the Westerlands, and then once the Westerlands are gone, you know, it's free real estate to whoever we want to attack them. Because that's all the Forced Wars done. And with no Forced Wars left, we are essentially at the whim of our, uh, our, uh, our Lysar Lysaron. And whoever she decides is the, the Vale's next target. Obviously, let's hope she doesn't decide to play War on the North, because I just make a lot of effort. Yeah, I do not know what's going on with the music. It, it just does not seem to like to play. But that's okay. I mean, we don't need music. We've got my lovely dulcet tones. going on with the music definitely having a bit of a mental breakdown but okay i don't think we so nice to have prisoners who just don't run away or can't get away and there's a bunch of extra free troops for us 38 but that actually is that's a lot of uh, extra free troops right there not complain right vape has been defended let's go take sun spear I'm expecting Sun Spear to probably have like 800 to 1,000 people defending it. Make them pay. Damage the siege engines. Siege the siege engines. 
Oh, the top ones on uh, pick them off. Deal double damage and siege. Defend the troops and wait. Oh, yeah, pick them off the walls, definitely. Let's see how many people we can kill off the walls. That'd make our life a lot easier. Okay, they're finally going to go try and take Spawn Hill again. Good. They're actually putting the effort in now, which is what I like to see. So, how strong? Only 700. Wow, yeah, we should, shouldn't take as long to take both of these back. We now have 44 people in prison. I don't really intend to uh, let any of them go until uh, such a time as uh, we've won. Basically, I ain't getting rid of them until the game makes me. Which, uh... Well, I think the game basically doesn't even make you get rid of them unless you... If, you, if they're destroyed. I can't remember exactly when the game made... I, I think it's only a piece they force them out of your pie. But I think if you, um... You destroy their faction, they stay in with you. Don't quote me on that, though, because I don't actually know. Oh, they took Hornhill. Good for them. See? All the Vale needed was a firm hand, and they, you know, they figured it out. They just needed a goddamn dragon on their side. Doesn't everyone, though, to be fair? Oh, they have an army coming to sit by us. Cool. Hey there, guys. You gonna, you gonna come play, or you just gonna sit there and do nothing? Well, they're slowly building up their number. You know, give them, gotta give them credit for that. Uh, given that there's 600 troops, I'm actually gonna build, yeah, I'm gonna build um, fire mangonels as well. Or fire onagers, whatever you wanna call them. It'll make, it, it'll make more sense, you know, in the siege to have... Uh, Actual anti besiege uh, uh, anti defenders. There we go. Break that. Leave the assault. Take this, and uh, well, that doesn't leave us with very much of the Dornish left. But to say we were on a very much a given, like you know, we were very much having an interesting back and forth. It's uh, you know very good to you know get ourselves into a position where we're you know doing better. And also, the game did look like it crashed, which is why I just ignored it and continued, because obviously, if you ignore it, ignore it and continue, then the game normally just, you know, continues. Only if... The, I will say this. If you ever have an issue in Bannerlord and where the game just freezes, if there is no po immediate pop-up, ignore it. Just give it a couple of seconds, don't press anything, and it'll come back. <clears throat> obviously, on slower systems, give it a little bit longer, but if you have a top-notch system, then it should be... It should only take a few seconds, and it'll be back to work. The real question is how uh, how effective am I going to be in this siege, or am I going to get my ass knocked pretty quickly? And let's be honest, that's very possible for me to get myself knocked out because I do suck, and, and I also have a tendency to get myself knocked out very early to sieges when they're like really important sieges. Okay, a few out. Getting ready, you're gonna go. Can't let people get behind us. I'm trying to push out, but it's not. Oh, shit, now. I think I'm getting shot by archers. You'd be pretty rude if I am, to be fair. I mean, like, fuck that, do the archers. Oh my god, yeah, I know I'm getting screwed. I also see which of the archers were shooting at me. I thought they were on the wall, they were not on the wall. Ah, shit. Well, not going very well for us, was it? The went was easy. Honestly, didn't too easy. Ow, that hurt. Uh, we'll show some thing, but we've taken Sunspear. Wasn't exactly how I wanted to take it because you know it was a little bit uneventful in terms of like you know we kind of just. Got to the point where we just pushed them over because obviously we were taking a lot of pain. Um, quickly buy you and you just because I know I'll need them. 
Um... Yeah, I'm not going to donate any prisoners, but we are unfortunately going to have to end this part here. So, of course, so guys, we'll uh, be ending here, like I said. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did enjoy, please do follow me on YouTube. Leave a like, leave a comment, leave a share. But most importantly, guys, stay safe. Have a great day. Join the time memberships if you're interested, and I'll see you on the next one. See you guys then.